the pledge of my salvation, the remedy of my frailty and inconstancy, the reparation for the defects of my life, and my secure refuge at the hour of my death. I pray that you, O most merciful heart, be my justification before God, your Father, and screen me from his anger, which I have so justly merited. I fear all for my own weakness and malice, but placing my entire confidence in you, O heart of love, I hope all from your infinite goodness, annihilate in me all that can displease or resist you, imprint in me your pure love so deeply in my heart that I may never forget you or be separated from you. I beg you through your infinite goodness, grant that my name be engraved upon your heart. I beg you through your infinite goodness, grant that my name be engraved upon your heart, for in this I place all my happiness and all my glory to live and to die as one of your devoted servants. Amen. This concludes today's morning prayer. I'm glad you were able to tune in and pray with us today. I hope you'll be able to join us later on today when we do afternoon prayer, and I hope that you are sharing these prayers with other people. If you can take a second right now of your time, it only takes a second, and you click on that share button on your application and share this prayer with your social network contacts, your uh, friends and family, you'll be doing them a favor. What I mean by that is nothing brings us closer to our Lord Jesus Christ than prayer. Prayer changes things. Prayers fill the hearts of those who believe in praying and who are in constant prayer with hope, with compassion, with a deeper understanding of Jesus. And that's what we're trying to do with these prayers and having a prayer life. That's what the order of the sacred heart of Jesus is all about, about becoming more like Christ, about going deep into the heart of Jesus so that from that depth, from that relationship, of, from that communion with Jesus, we can come out into the world to share the good news of salvation with those around us, not just by preaching the gospel, not just by word, but by action, by the way we behave, by the way we act, by the things that we do, by having a pure heart, a heart that is like the heart of Christ. If you want to find out more about the order of the sacred heart of Jesus and about how you can become part of our ministry, I encourage you to visit us at Sacred Hearts Jesus dot org that is sacred hearts jesus dot org i hope you have a wonderful rest of the day and i will see you tomorrow i mean today later today afternoon for afternoon prayer you have a wonderful rest of the day see you later